I'm Dr. Jess Mason, and we're gonna show you a wrist arthrocentesis, but first, a quick little tiny anatomy review, because there's two structures that you need to identify before you start sticking needles in places, and the first one is called Lister's tubercle. It's that bump on the distal radius, so you find that bump, that's Lister's tubercle. Second is the anatomic snuff box. You remember how to find this, have the patient extend their thumb, and the two tendons that are nice and prominent from that, that forms the anatomic snuff box. The one that's more ulnar is the extensor pollicis longus tendon, and you're gonna go just outside that. So remember, think outside the box, just outside the anatomic snuff box and distal to the distal radius, and that's where you're gonna go. Now let's take a look at the real procedure at UCSF Fresno done by Dr. Dmitry Stablovsky. Position the hand so the wrist is slightly flexed with slight ulnar deviation. Prep the skin and make a wheel of anesthetic. Switch to a 22 gauge needle about two centimeters long. With the needle perpendicular to the skin, insert the needle just ulnar to the anatomic snuff box and just distal to the distal radius, just outside the box. Now, if you hit bone, withdraw and redirect. Once you get a sample of joint fluid, remove the needle and apply pressure to the puncture site. And that is a wrist arthrocentesis.